everyone, Christian here, and uh, shocking enough, there's another palm review. And this is Adelaea phalerata. This is a, uh, Adelaea is a genus uh, best known as commonly as the oil palm or the American oil palm genus, but uh, <clears throat> it's quite a large genus that kind of encompasses a bunch of older genera that were lumped into Adelaea maybe 30 years ago. So these, uh, these large, they're mostly very large trunk solitary species from anywhere from southern Mexico all the way into Brazil and western parts of South America as well into the Andes and uh, they're some of my favorite plants, some of my favorite palms in the world because they have this nice volcanic leaf. This is this is still a juvenile, you know, you can see that it uh, has its meristem where it's growing is right about ground level, maybe a little bit underneath and it's already 15 to, yeah 15 feet tall or so and it kind of resembles a coke it it resembles a coconut very much so it's actually uh, fairly closely related to a coconut if you get seeds of Adelaea you'll see that there's um, they're big they can be anywhere from the size of maybe a, a, a marble all the way to the size of your fist or larger and they have three eyes in them much like a coconut does and butias and Siagris like the queen palm so these are all in the same uh, subfamily and they uh, but these are the monsters so the most popular one is Adelaide Cahoon which grows in and around uh, Belize uh, Mexico down into Guatemala and if, you, if you've ever been there to Belize these are these grow everywhere Cahoon's grow everywhere but uh, this one kind of grows more into more in the southern part of the range in South America and uh, my I think the best looking characteristic on this particular species is these markings on the rachis they kind of have this mealy bug look to it. It's almost like the uh, the, uh, the New World version of a mealy, of a mealy bug, <clears throat> like the one in uh, Madagascar. And there's the emerging spear. They don't really uh, come out and then emerge. They kind of just emerge already half opened. It's kind of interesting. And uh, some palms just do that. They don't come out with the spear and then open up when they're completely out. So these these are really tough. I mean, they're really hard to move around. The actual rachis is like really stiff it's, it'd be really hard to kind of bend this and uh, they're relatively cold I mean cold they're relatively wind hardy um, they tend to take a lot of hurricanes in some of the areas that they grow um, and they uh, they're relatively cold sensitive some of the species like this one can handle frost and there's some like Cahoon which in a frost will uh, the, the foliage will burn, but because most of the growing point during its earlier stages of life is underground, <clears throat> it'll it will grow back from the meristem. So you'll get a foliage burn. Unfortunately, it takes almost an entire year to or more to regrow that. So this is probably at least seven or eight years old, if not older. And uh, they do take a long time, but there's some really nice old ones uh, in South Florida that are absolutely beautiful. And when they fruit, I think it's really neat the, you know, the this massive fruit bract kind of holding off of the trunk. So that you know the, this will get a massive trunk, maybe uh, three to four feet in uh, in diameter, and it'll be quite the spectacle. So uh, this here, though, you know, it's still a beautiful plant. It's you know it's quite large. It has a has a coconut-like look, and uh, has this massive. You definitely want to give this some room, as you can see. This is actually a relatively crowded garden. If you see over here, you can see there's six to ten palms planted in just that little area but this one's got a space just all to itself and uh so yeah this is going to be this one is actually going to be a little bit more cold hardy this can probably handle i would try this out in like upper levels of zone nine and um it's not it might get some frost burn but it, it'll grow through it especially when it gets older the frost will you know tend to only collect down near the ground so it won't get frosty as much during those um, those frosty nights. So uh, if you can get it up off the ground like many palms then the frost won't collect and you'll, you'll have a plant that will be relatively hardy to the uh, zone 9 area. These I've seen them growing in Orlando and Tampa and other parts of uh, you know, the, the east coast which are uh, definitely borderline zone 9 slash 10 so if you want to give it a try in those areas uh, along the I-4 corridor although I wouldn't do it in the colder areas of uh, central Florida that probably wouldn't work out too well. I mean, it's always worth a try, though. So the seeds are going to be, um, they're going to be quite large. They're going to be almost the size of, of my fist. So that's going to be, uh, I'm trying to think of a fruit that would be the same size as, uh, 
a clementine, maybe larger, but an, but oval shaped. And uh, it's going to take a little while. These are very tough seeds. You can the best thing to do is to kind of lay them on a media like sphagnum moss or perlite and bake them out in wherever you can bake them. If you if you have hot sun, go ahead and do it there. If you have uh, if you have like an interior area that uh, gets pretty warm, go ahead and let them germinate. Once the root uh, first you know the cotyledon first comes out of the seed then you want to transfer them to a deep pot i have a some smaller uh species or, or plants that are smaller of different species at the, at my house and i keep them all in deep pots none of them go into a regular size pot because of their uh their very deep rooting system so and they also get a massive heel when they're younger too but this one probably has grown out of it and yeah it has so and you get these old leaf bases by the time this is a mature plant this leaf base will be uh, this, I've seen some at the size of my sandal in width, so, and they're very, they have a lot of texture to them. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there before it, uh, pours rain here. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more palm vlogs, and other vlogs about, uh, tropical plants and discuss them, um, go ahead and, uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions about Adelaide's or other, um, you know, large South American palms and their cold hardiness, uh, go ahead and leave a... Uh, question down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and I'll see y'all later